What's up, peeps? Welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. If it's your first time tuning into the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, peeps, I've been telling y'all for years, man, that Marjorie Harvey, that hoe ain't loyal. Now, y'all remember I had an exclusive interview with Jim Townsend, her ex, the kingpin of Memphis, and you already know, man, she was involved with two cousins, him being one of the cousins. So it's shocking, man, that Marjorie Harvey is now seeking a divorce for $400 million from Steve Harvey, and she was smashing the man's bodyguard. Now, allegedly, this guy was an ex-pimp, and guys, like, we can't make this thing up. Now, guys, let's do a little flashback, man, and check out Marjorie Harvey's ex-husband talking about her leaving him with his D in the dirt in prison. Y'all check this out. So, yeah, during that time, in fact, she brought the kids to uh, all four of the prison to visit me. So, oh, uh, she never did visit me. Anymore. But she, uh, yeah, we up for 19 years. I had an uh, call any time, day or night. But, you know, it came a point, uh, everybody know, uh, need to know. And uh, when she married Steve Harvey, everything just cut off, you know. And that was that. Okay. She, uh, she changed the number. You know, I I called to uh, congratulate them, like I said, because we would communicate up to that point, up until that point. And uh, I never forget, I called her to uh, congratulate her on the marriage because she had told me before they got married that you know they was gonna get married. And I mean, we was communicating uh, from that perspective. And but two days after the marriage, I called and <laughs> her number had changed. See, y'all hear what the homie said, man? He was talking to her all the way up until two days before this little wench got married. Now that's crazy, man. It's two days before you said, I do to Steve Harvey. Guys, this is the only video on the internet right here to confirm this man, my exclusive interview with Jim Townsend. Now, if this don't tell you that Marjorie Butter Harvey is for the streets, I don't know what's gonna tell y'all, man. This is crazy stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I really feel bad for Steve Harvey, man. I mean, he did a lot of stuff to his ex-wives. You know, maybe that's karma coming to get him. <laughs> but you definitely got the wrong wife, homie. Let's check out the rest of the interview, y'all. Whoa. So so, so up until the point of the actual marriage, that's when the number changed. So all, all the way up until the, the point they said, I do, you guys were still communicating? Yeah. 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 Like I said, then visiting, she was bringing the kids to visit me. We, we were still friends. I mean, you know, she went on with her life and... Of course, like I said, I went on with mine. I mean, we dealt with reality, but we were still friends, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, now another interesting mm -hmm. thing that definitely has the internet just, you know, everybody's trying to figure out these stories. In terms of Darnell Woods, who is Darnell Woods? And to, to Marjorie, well, who is Darnell Woods to you? Darnell, nothing but, um, Actually, I've never seen Donnell Woods. If he spoke to me today, I wouldn't know him. But I did, you know, uh, Marjorie, she did. She married Donnell uh, mm -hmm. while I was in prison. And in fact, she got a daughter, Lori. Uh, Donnell and Marjorie has a daughter named Lori. Mm -hmm. But uh, I did, and, and, and just show you what kind of relationship Marjorie and I had while I was in prison. When she married Donnell, uh, I talked to Donnell, you know, uh, and uh, thanked him for you know, uh, congratulated on the marriage and thanked him for looking out for my kids. Mm. And uh, we had just that type of relationship, you know. And so, uh, but like I said, I, I don't know him personally. Gotcha. So, so in terms of the internet saying that you guys were cousins and all of that, so that's all not true. Well, see, you know what, uh, Lionel, it's a lot of uh, untruth that's been told on it. You know how the internet is, you know, one person. Uh, but you tell a story by the time you get to the end, you got, I don't know how many different versions. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, so that kind of answers my other question. I was going to ask you, you know, have you spoken to her since you've uh, been released? I mean, I know she changed her number, but in terms of you guys having kids together, you, is there no communication whatsoever between you all anymore? What? Me and the kids are uh, me and Marjorie. You and Marjorie. Oh no, like like I said, that was the last time I, I had talked to Marjorie. I never talked to her again. I think I think she and Steve been married with something like what seven, eight years or whatever. Yeah. I think they celebrated not somebody was talking about it the other day, but they're celebrating, they're getting ready to celebrate their anniversary. So I think it's the eighth. Okay. Or whatever it is. Uh but no, I hadn't I hadn't talked to her uh, in eight years. Okay. And I hadn't talked to her the two years I've been out of prison. No. 
Now, now there's been a lot of headlines uh, on the internet. Um, a lot of media outlets are basically indicating that she was actually the queen pin of Memphis and she was your right hand woman. What would you actually say about that? You were, you were stating at one point that Marjorie played her hand. Now it's time for you to play your hand. Was that, was that true? A, a true quote that, that was put out there on the internet? No, I did. You know how, like I said, you know, you can tell a story and then by the time they get to it's going to five different version. Um, I did give the uh, interview. I know I did use the words that uh, was posited uh, uh, throughout the, you know, the social media. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't use those words. I simply said that uh, I did say this, that I was going to write a book. And I said that, uh, and they asked me some kind of question, but I said, well, I owe Marjorie no allegiance, you know, and I just want to uh, uh, tell my story and, and, and straighten a lot of uh, uh, untruth that was put out there, you see, mm-hmm. uh, as, far as, me, as far as me and Marjorie, uh, as far as me and Marjorie and Steve Harvey, and, you know, it was told this same interview she had asked me what I had heard that uh, when you got out of prison that, uh, Steve and Marjorie uh, gave you a million dollars. Uh, and, uh, you know, but you know what I said? That's I told her, I said, well, uh, I'm not going to confirm it nor deny it, mm-hmm. you see. Okay. But and I just left her with that. So anyway, she, she, she embellished a lot of things that I said. Now, peeps, they always say, man, the way that you get them is the way that you lose them. Now, apparently, man, she has some type of entanglement still going on with Mr. Jim Townsend when Steve Harvey was in the play. Like I said before, guys, they was talking all the way up until two days before the marriage. Now, fellas, y'all need to start t- checking these females' phone, man, because I'm saying, like I said before, them hoes ain't loyal, man. They got a little thing swinging in their damn pocket, man, so yay. But also, you know what I'm saying, you go looking for shit, you might just find it. If, if you were to kind of describe Marjorie in a, in a few words... I mean, would you say she was a she's a good person, or would you say she was kind of in it for the money and the and the hype type of thing? What well, as far as dealing with me? Yeah, dealing with you, dealing with Steve Harvey, dealing with pretty well, much guys that had that had money. Well, let me let me say this here, and, and it would be uh, a mess to me if I could say that she married Steve Harvey. I, I'll let the you know I'll let you all uh, determine that as far as her her reason for marrying Steve Harvey. Uh, I can't really, I mean, I have my thoughts on that, but, uh, I mean, I mean, who, who knows, but as far as her marrying me, uh, you need to read the book because uh, it's a compelling story behind that and how we met and, uh, and my thoughts that ran through my mind. And I think, I think, I think the reader gone, I don't know, they'll probably hate me and love Marjorie, then they'll probably love Marjorie and hate me as a reader, but anyway. <laughs> So so it's so it's so it's too kind of kind of it's not really like a a bash session for for Marjorie or anything like that. It was kind of just how, how, you know, well, basically saying you you said some people may hate you and love her, and some people may you know love you and and hate her type of thing. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah. the so the book isn't really like anything that's gonna like kind of bash her or make people be like, dang, Marjorie did all that. Uh, yes and no. I'm, I'm telling you, you know how life is, right? You know how life is. I'm just gonna put the truth out there, right. and uh, I'm putting, I'm putting the truth out there. I should say, and and you know, just let people be the judge. Got of you. It, you know. Now tell us I'm this, though, embellish, not... I got you. Mm, now tell us this. Ahead. I'm pretty sure my viewers want to know this. The Marjorie that's portrayed in the media is that the same one that you remember, or is she a lot different? Oh no, I, I'm just gonna be honest with you. No, that's not the Marjorie. No, wow. I just told you the Marjorie that I really knew. She was, uh, she she was she was loving and and, uh, but I mean, you know, everybody, you know what, man? Just to be truthful about the whole matter, everybody have an ulterior motive. Ulterior motive, don't you think so? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and she had hers, and um, I mean, you know. <coughs> I, I have to look at me too in our relationship because, um, in fact, she told my kids I was a good provider, but I was a poor husband. That was her, you know. She conveyed that to my kids, and 
and, and I was, but anyway, um, you have to be determined. You have to, you and the audience or the readers have to determine that. Got you. So, so what's your, what's your relationship like now with you and Marjorie's children? Oh, I, I you know, actually, uh, uh, being honest, uh, my, my son, Jason, um, he had reservations about me writing a book and, uh, his thoughts were like, um, my reason why. And, and it's like I conveyed to him, you know, it's not about throwing your mother under the bus. And, and as you read my book, you'll see it's going, it's two other women was deeply involved with me, uh, doing my shenanigans. And, um, and like I told him, it's not all about your mother. It's just so happened that your mother just, you know, is part of my life. And she just a, a high profile figure this time. And Man, I know somewhere Steve Harvey XYs are sitting there clapping and celebrating. Guys, Marjorie Harvey is definitely for the streets. Y'all already know Lori Harvey is from the, for the streets. Y'all see the way she be bouncing around, changing up men, switching up men. And they always say the apple don't fall far from the tree. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. How do y'all feel about Marjorie Harvey smashing, you know what I'm saying, the bodyguard and also doing Mr. Jim Townsend so damn wrong? How y'all feel about that, man? And also, how y'all feel about her doing Steve Harvey wrong as well? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share this video, and I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.